Slackware is not the most ready-made Linux distribution. While it's definitely more complete than something like Arch or Gentoo, it is still far from being completely ready to go out of the box. Here are three things you must do immediately after installing Slackware to ensure a reliable and stable and enjoyable experience. Before we start, thanks to Cameron Carter for recommending this video. The first thing we are going to do is create a user. This will give us extra security on the system as using the root account is very dangerous. With a new user, you will be able to safely purchase JPT merch without your bank account being hacked. Log in as root. Open up a terminal and type add user, then proceed to fill out the information for your new user. And once you have created a new user, reboot the system and log in as the user you just created. Open a terminal window and type SU and enter your password. This will give us root permissions to enable Wi-Fi. Now type chmod plus x slash etsy slash rc dot d slash rc dot network manager. and reboot. Now you should be able to connect to the internet. Launch Firefox and go to sbopkg.org. Navigate to the download tab and click the first underlined link that says here and download the package. Open a terminal window and gain root access by typing su again and enter your password. Now locate to your downloads directory by typing slash home slash whatever your username is slash downloads with a capital D and click enter. Type ls and you should find the package you just downloaded. Now type install pkg and paste the file you just downloaded. Type sbopkg in a terminal and then click sync. This process may take a few minutes. Upon completion, search for the libconfig package and install it. Then search for SBOUI and install it. Once finished, you can now close out all the windows. Open SBOUI from the start menu and press S to sync. After that, you can use SBOUI to install packages. I strongly urge using SBOUI instead of SBO package as it will handle the dependencies for you and nobody wants to install dependencies manually, let's be honest. That's it. Now you have a fully functional Slackware system ready to use. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.